here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So a couple weeks ago we added the rabbits to the homestead and I mentioned in that video that I was going to do a little tour of my rabbit tractors. So here we go. So my rabbit tractor all in all is six feet long and it's just over three feet wide. It has a nice yard here attached to the side so that they can run around, they can eat grass, they can do all the things that a rabbit is supposed to do. On the bottom, I have fencing that goes out and in. This apron of fencing discourages the rabbit from digging its way out from underneath. It also discourages predators from digging up into there and protects the rabbit. On the back here, I have some handles that I attached and I use these for moving the tractor to a new spot. I just hook up a ratchet strap to each side and just slide it on over. I have a piece of 2x2 two two here that I simply use as a support when I open the roof to get inside. The latch here I simply made out of some hay string and a little clip ring which attaches to heavy duty uh, fencing nails that go into the posts that's on the other side of the plywood here. The roof is corrugated material, it's just roofing material and you can see in there where there would be a gap. I used the foam that is for corrugated roofing that keeps wasps and things like that from making hives up underneath your roofing and I use that where the house part is to keep rain from blowing inside through those gaps. In here is a nice big house. I line it with straw for insulation. Underneath the straw, I'm going to move it out of the way here so you can see it. Not only does that allow moisture to dry with airflow, but it keeps them up off the ground. Out here I have a hay holder and that is just a, it's very simply, it's a little container that I cut a hole in at the bottom, right there, and attached with a screw and I can fill it from the top. Next to that is where I have a spot for the water bottle, which I don't have out here right now. And then on the end there I have the feeder. I need to empty both of those simply because it's old, it's wet, it's no good. I prepped this tractor uh, before my rabbits arrived. I wasn't certain how many I would need, so I prepped all four of them uh, just in case. There's a space right here where I can reach in to do the food, the water, and all of that. Normally when I mess with the tractor at all, the rabbits will run inside the house, so I can just reach right down in there to get them. I do think that one minor modification that I might do to this uh, design would be in the front here to make a second frame on the outside and make that another door. You know, just attach it with hinge and then put the fencing on that instead. That way I could access the tractor from both ends, from the house and from this side. So there you go, that is my rabbit tractor. I'm working on getting this printed up so that the designs are on my website. So if you would like to make one of these, you'll know the measurements of all of the pieces of wood and everything that I used to make it. So there you go. Mm -hmm.